Trips Embedder lets you quickly add or embed selected trips in between your blog posts and website pages content area. With the add-on, you can easily display the details of your trip in grid or list format, right in between posts or page contents, giving your readers easier access to related trip details. In this video, I will show you how to install and configure Trips Embedder add-on. Please note that Trips Embedder add-on requires WP Travel Engine plugin version 2.2.4 or later installed and activated on your website. Let's get started. First, you need to log in to your WordPress admin dashboard, navigate to plugins and click on add new. Click on upload plugin. Click on choose file. Select the zip file that you downloaded. Click on open. Click on install now. Click on activate plugin. The trips embedder add-on has now been successfully installed and activated. Next up, go to WP Travel Engine, then click on Plugin License. Enter the license key that you received during the download of the add-on. Your license key looks something like this. Click on Save Changes. Click on Activate License button. The license key has now been activated. By activating the license key, you will be able to receive regular updates from our team. Now, I will show you how Trips Embedder add-on works in different ways. First, I will show you how the Trips Embedder add-on lets you embed trips in a list or grid layout from the WordPress Classic Editor. By default, the layout shown for WordPress is Gutenberg Editor. To enable the Classic Editor, you will have to install and activate a plugin named Classic Editor. So go to Plugins once again. I have already installed the Classic Editor plugin. For you, just click on Add New. Now from Search Plugins, you have to type in Classic Editor. And this is the plugin that I have installed. You simply have to click on the Install Now button, which will show like how it is showing for the rest of the plugins. Then after the plugin is installed, you have to click on Activate to activate the plugin. Now open a blog post or page where you wish to embed trips. You can also create a new post if you wish to. So let's go to Posts, click on All Posts. I will embed the trip in the existing post. Let's open this trip here, the second last trip. As you can see, we have switched to Classic Editor with the help of the Classic Editor plugin. Once Classic Editor is activated, a Trips Embedder button will be shown in the editor. So to embed a trip, simply click anywhere on the post where you want the trip to be embedded. Now click on Trips Embedder. This will open a pop-up model from where you can select your trips. You can select from trips, destinations, activities and trip type. Let's select trips from here. These are the trips that you have created from your trips page. Now click on Add to Selected Trips button. Here, you can further sort the trips. You place your cursor on the handle icon, then you can move it up or down to sort it. Just like this. You can also remove the trips by clicking on the cross icons available. Scroll down, then you can select a layout. You can either go with the grid layout or the list layout. I will select the grid layout. Now click on insert. And here, a short code will be generated from all trips tab. Now, if you want to select a trip from different tab, again, 
Place your cursor right where you want the trips embedded. Click on trips embedder button once again. Now select a different tab. You can go with destinations, activities or trip type. Let's select trip type this time or maybe activities. Let's select jungle safari and hiking. Now click on add to selected activities. You can sort it, you can delete it from here and you can select a layout. This time we will go with the second layout. Click on insert. Also there is one more thing. While embedding the trips, you can also set the number of posts. This is optional, here you can simply define the total number of posts to show from the selections. If left blank, the trips count will be based upon the WordPress default posts per page settings. Now after the short codes are added, click on update. Now let's open this post in the new tab. Scroll down and here the trips have been embedded. Let's go back. You can follow the same process to embed trips from the rest of the tabs. Now I will demonstrate another way which is external embedding trips inside blog posts or pages. So let's go back. Okay, what I'll do is I will go over to plugins once again. Then I will deactivate the classic editor. Now go to WP Travel Engine. Then click on external embeds. Click on add new. Add the title for the new embed. I'm just going to randomly name it new embed. You can also change the size of the width and height of the external trips to be displayed on the posts or pages. Then click on create embed code button. Just like we did before, you can select trips from four different tabs available. You can select from any of the available tabs. You can select from trips, destinations, activities, and trip types. So from the trips, let's select three trips and click on add to selected trips. Like before, you can sort these trips. You can also remove them. Then you can select a layout. Let's go with the first one. Click on generate embed code. Click on publish. Now click on copy code. Open the blog post or page where you wish to embed the trip. Let's go to a page this time. Let's create a new page. Now you have to click on this add block icon and look out for custom HTML. It is already showing here. If it does not, then you can search for custom HTML from the search bar by simply typing custom HTML. Now click on the block. Here you have to paste the code that you have just copied. Now click on publish. I will select no sidebar for this page template. Click on update and let's view the page on our site. And here are the trips embedded on our newly created page. Let's go back and back. If you wish to embed trips from the taxonomy pages, you have to click on add new. Add in the title once again. Again, click on create embed code. Now let's select activities. Then you can select the activities that you wish to display the trips from. Click on add to selected activities, select a layout, you can also sort or delete them. Click on generate embed code. Now click on publish first, then click on copy code. 
Now let's go back to the same page that we created earlier. The trips page, click on edit. Again, you have to click on the add block icon. Look out for custom HTML or you can also search for it by typing custom HTML. Now you have to paste the code. Click on update. And from the block itself, you can preview it by clicking on preview. Then if you click on HTML, it will show the code here once again. So let's click on update. Let's go back and give our trip page a refresh. And here are the trips that we embedded from our second embed. If you have any questions or confusions, please do let me know in the comment section below. Or even better, you can directly reach out to our support team. I have added the link to creating support ticket in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in our next video.